morning children and happy Sunday to you. I believe you had a wonderful week. We thank God for bringing us again together to learn how His feet. We want to go into our lesson um, titled Watch the Signals. But before we do anything, we want to pray. Let's close our eyes, hands together. Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for bringing us again together to learn at your feet. Jesus, come and teach our heart. Write your words in our heart. Thank you for being with us, for taking care of us. Jesus, please come into our hearts. Save our soul. Jesus, help us, oh God, so that we can live with you in heaven. Thank you, God, for hearing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, we want to recite our memory verse, which says, Before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Isaiah 65, verse 24. A Bible test is quite a lot, but we're not going to go into everything. We are only just reading Joshua chapter 10, just two verses, 12 and 13. Let's pick up our Bibles, open to Joshua chapter 10, and let's follow. I am going to read Joshua 10 verse 12 says, Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the side of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Argelon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. So let's close our Bibles. That's all we're reading. I want us to watch a clip about traffic light on what it means and what they do. Let's sing the traffic light song. Green, yellow, red. Here we go. Green is go, 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 go. Yellow is slow, slow, slow. Red is stop. Green is go, 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 go. Yellow is slow, slow, slow. Red is stop. Green, 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 red. Yellow. Jeff, we are told, went with his dad to the post office to pick up a mail sent by his Sunday school teacher. On receiving the mail, looked at it. Was a shock to him. He wondered because the envelope looks exactly like a traffic light. What are the colors of the traffic light again? Green, yellow, and red. Open, he opened the envelope, found something else inside, which says, Don't miss next Sunday. Why? Because Jeff is going to learn how traffic light reminds us of different ways God answers our prayer. Jeff didn't understand what all this means. He wondered, how can traffic light be like answers to prayers? The dad took him along as they were going, came to a traffic light which turns red, stops all the cars from moving. 
because it's not safe to cross. Everyone stopped. Also, God tells us to stop when we're asking him for something, as we saw in that clip. Because God knows the right thing for us. He made us. He created us. He knows everything that is good for us. And he will answer at the right time. While they kept going, came to another traffic light. And this one now, the color is yellow. Meaning that everyone had to slow down start slowing down and getting ready to stop because it's going to change to red so we can say that this yellow means wait so the same way god has, tells us to wait as we keep on praying asking him for something to do this for us to give us this to give us that yes God will tell us to wait because it was the best for us and he wants to give it to us at the right time so and he knows the right time for us to have it and that's why he tells us to wait you know God loves us he cares for us so much he wants us to be happy and he he knows everything about us he is good and as they keep going they kept on going they came to another traffic light the color says green meaning everybody is safe to go you can the, the road is free is safe everybody can now move the same way God gave us the green light to go when the right time approaches God will tell us now you can have this thing that you are asking me I have answered your prayer you can have it you see as I said he knows the right time for us to have what we are asking from him he made us he, he just he just loves us more than we can ever ever love him he loves us so much. He wants us to be happy. He wants us to be joyful. He doesn't want us to be sad. So, and he knows the right thing for us to have at the right time. This is God, our Father. You can see that God is so good. He is very, very good. So, God wants us to watch the signals when we are talking to him in prayer to listen because he will surely answer our prayer but we have to listen this is where we're going to end our lesson god will surely help us to listen to him as we pray our activity ages two to five Fill in the missing words and the sentences with words from the word bank. Daddy or mommy will help. Ages 6 to 8, find and circle the words hidden in the puzzle below. Key statement. God will answer. Next lesson is lesson 14b, titled The Right Answer. Take care. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Good morning, answer class. Welcome to Sunday School. How many of you can see my balloon? Such a nice one. You know what? I want you to do something for me. I'm going to pop this balloon, but just before I do that, I want you to clap your hands. So I want to see who is going to be ready and who is going to know when I'll actually pop it. So keep on looking at it and just be ready. Yeah? We agree? Good. Our lesson today is chapter 5, the rapture. We are going to read from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 
verse 13 to 18, and chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. But for this lesson, we're just going to read chapter 4, verse 16 and 17. You can take out your Bibles. Chapter 4, verse 16 and 17. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him, with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Did you get that? Wow, that's what we call the rapture. It's a sudden coming of the Lord Jesus from heaven to take those who are ready. You know, our memory verse says, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, you may be also. John 14, verse 3. You remember we have been studying the story of those boys, and one of them in your story said, you remember what happened to him? He wasn't interested in getting saved. He kept on saying, yeah, maybe another time, and he didn't want to hear about it. He didn't even want to go to Sunday school. But something terrible happened to him, and that should never happen to any one of us. We want to be ready so that when Jesus comes, we are going to go together with him. If all our parents are saved, we don't want to be the one to see their clothes. We want to go with them. Let other people come and see the mess, but not us who come to Sunday school. We hear the word of God every Sunday. We want to be ready. So this rapture, which is the sudden coming of Jesus, no one knows the day. No one knows the time. Even Jesus himself is just the father who knows the day. And when this day comes, the angel will just blow the trumpet. You know, a trumpet is so loud, but only those who are saved, only those who have said sorry to Jesus for their sins and their hearts are clean will hear it. Those who are not ready will not hear it. Did you catch that? Yes, can you imagine how this balloon popped? Well, do you think there was enough time to really know that, yeah, now it's about to pop, now let me clap my hands? No, it was just so sudden. This is how rapture is going to happen. You can't say, oh, I've heard the sound, now let me pray, it will be too late. In fact, you won't even hear it. That's why we need to be ready. When? Now. Right now, even during this lesson, we need to be praying to say, Jesus, Forgive me my sins. Save my soul. I don't want this rapture to miss me. So we said, we don't know when this is going to happen. Anytime. It could be morning. Those who will be alive, the word of God says, their bodies will be changed. Their bodies will be translated. It will become a light body, a glorious body that is so light like a balloon who will just fly away. I want to just bring different scenarios. Can you imagine? Just like said in our story, it happened at night time or early morning. He just woke up only to find that his parents are gone. What if it happens? Maybe someone is driving the car in the motorway at full speed, but the driver is ready. And then he's, he goes, what happens to the car? He will be left and there will be car accidents. What if you're in the airplane? The pilot is saved and he goes, what happens to the plane? It will crumble down. 
Can you imagine you are talking to someone, you are talking to some of your, uh, your friends, and then all of a sudden you, you are talking to yourself, and you know very well that they didn't move an inch, but they just disappeared. Watch the clip. Yeah. ready and being ready means getting saved this story about getting saved is so serious you can't say i'll do it next week you can't say i'll wait for come meeting you can't say oh uh, let me think about it because as you are thinking about it you don't know what god is thinking we all don't know oh what if if it just happens now and you think you are listening to your lesson and the teacher disappears and some of you many of you as i know you are not you can't drive home you are in church some of you you can you don't even know how to get home you then go out of the church looking for help and then you know something else that's going to happen because when the saints go the holy spirit will go as well so people who are left behind they won't be nice people who will be saying oh tell him tell him let me help you no they'll be evil just can you imagine only evil people left and then you want help from evil people oh no that will be terrible that will be terrible so this is what it how it will happen those people who are already dead but before they died they were ready they were set they are going to rise up first yes that's how the word of god put it they will rise up first and then those who are not dead who are still doing things like we are all alive now will now join them in the air and then they will meet jesus in the clouds and then they will go to the marriage supper of the lamb is a great party for seven years can you imagine you know many times we go for a party maybe one hour two hours this one is going to be for seven years with jesus in the clouds how wonderful who wants to miss that not me i'm sure we are going to decide today to say you know what i'm going to be ready yes this very morning, this very time that you are hearing this lesson, just whisper a prayer right now and say, Jesus, make me ready. I don't want to miss this. You know, getting ready for, for rapture, it's, it's even different from how we get ready when we, we know we are going for a trip. You know, you can decide to say, okay, today I'll pack my shoes, and then tomorrow I'll pack my dress, and then the other day I'll pack. We just have to be completely ready now because we don't have a debt. You know, when we go for a trip, we have a debt. We know that maybe on the 5th or on the, on the 10th or on the, at the end of the month, I'll go somewhere. You can plan, you can take your time, but this one, no debt, no time is given, no feeling. It won't even be like, you know, when it wants to rain, we can see the clouds and say, oh, it's about to rain. When rapture happens, we won't see anything like, oh, now the trumpet is about to ring. No. It will just happen suddenly. It happens. Some people think, oh, maybe that's when I'll pray. No, no, that will be too late. Now is the time. Now is the time. So we just want to do that. We want to make sure we are ready. The key statement for this lesson is, I'm going up with Jesus. Can you all say that? I'm going up with Jesus. We all want to go up and be with Jesus. Our activity. Fill in the missing words in the cloud 
and put the circle letters on the numbered lines at the bottom of the page. And our lesson as well for next week is Lesson 110, The Marriage Supper. Have a great week. God bless you. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for our lesson. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you help the primary house and you help all the answer class. Help everyone to be ready. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.